You probably don't know it, but Sanam Ramgotra has been Thai's percussive voice behind some of the world's biggest blockbuster hits and countless other films. Hmm, some of these you might have heard of. The Dark Knight, Black Hawk Down, Monsters vs. Aliens, Sherlock Holmes. This is just a taste of some of the many films that Ty has been a part of. He's also the backbone of vocalist Nika Costa and his electronic jazz group Alien Chatter. We recently caught up with Satnam and asked him a few questions about his tie gear. You've been with us since 2001. You've been probably one of our longest endorsers uh, since we've only been around since 2000. Um, what was it about Thai drums that uh, interested you to uh, come on board as one of our artists? Well, to be honest, when they first, when, when he brought me those right. drums, you know, I was completely wary, and I was just like, uh, I don't, you know, whatever. Okay, set them up. I'll try them up. Right. And like I said before, before they sounded really, really good, and I was totally shocked at how good they sounded. And then I started to do some research on the company myself and discovered that Thai made shells for all the other companies beforehand and basically started putting up the whole line. What from Thai drums do you use? You currently play uh, Go Kit or Studio yeah. Maple, or which one? Which one are you using? I use both. Okay. Yeah, and um, it obviously depends on the gig. Right. If I had my choice, like, and they just said, okay, just use whatever you want, I would always use the Go Kit. The, the Go Kit Hybrid. Okay. Yeah, because um, sometimes you still need you still need some depth in the floor toms, or right. whatever, you know, and but. The bass drum is like amazing. The snare drum totally kills, and the palms are great. But um, um, but I get a lot of requests actually from from engineers now, recording engineers. Like bring that little that little tiny bass drum. Okay. You know, because it's huge. It, can, it sounds. It, I mean, we did one gig actually at um, House of Blues with Nika, and she was like, "I think you better bring your you know your regular size bass drum." And I'm like, Nika, I'm telling you. It's gonna be awesome. Just trust me. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, she was like, "Okay, do whatever you want." <clears throat> and so I brought my little yeah, and everybody there was floored at like how massive that bass drum can sound when it's mic'd up. Right. Yeah. And I love it. It's awesome. And it, it just—I it, don't know. Maybe it has a unique character just because of the you know. Maybe engineers like it because they can have more freedom with it when they're mixing. I don't know, but it sounds amazing. 